Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable Telenet in Windows 10. So the Telenet utility or client is a tool that's used to test the network connectivity in Windows. So this is often used by administrators and developers and it's built in, into the Windows operating system. So if you've noticed this tool being disabled by default, which is how it's supposed to be, if you want to enable it, this tutorial is going to show you guys how to do it. So just keep in mind this will take up a little more resource usage on your computer. So that's typically why it's disabled by default. So in order to enable that, we're going to go ahead and just open up the start menu. Just select on the start button one time. Type in Windows PowerShell. Post match to come back on Windows PowerShell. Go ahead and right click on that. and then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on Yes. Now I'm going to have a command in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy from my description. So however you normally would copy something, so Control C if you prefer keyboard shortcuts, or highlight over it and then right click on it and then select Copy, whatever you prefer. And then you want to go up to this Windows PowerShell window here, right click on the top bar, left click on edit, and then left click on paste to paste it in here. Hit enter on your keyboard to run this command. Shouldn't take very long here. Let's say enabling features. And it should say the operation completed successfully. So we'll close out of here. Now if you want to see if the Telenet client has been enabled, go ahead and just open up the start menu. I'm going to type in CMD. Right click on the best match, it should be CMD or command prompt, run as administrator. I'm going to select yes for the user account control prompt. So now I'm just going to type in Telnet. So T E L N E T. Hit enter your keyboard. It should say welcome to Microsoft Telnet client. So pretty straightforward process here guys. Do I was able to help you out? And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.